Well, it's like as you go through that process and as you become closer to your authentic self, it's like your authenticity is attractive to other people because it's like there's a part of them that they see in you that they maybe forgot about or maybe they neglected or maybe they were told that it wasn't okay or maybe that it was weird or that, you know, anything. Or maybe they just don't understand it, but there's a part of you, like you being who you are, um, it's like you give people permission to be themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, hopefully y'all can see me. The reason why I'm saying that is because I'm not using my front cam, I'm using my back cam because the front cam would be too dark. <sighs> but anyway, so this video is basically about, I mean, you see the title. I don't quite know what it is yet, but um, it's basically kind of piggybacking off of a conversation that I had with my lady a few nights ago. And the point that I was making was that as people, you know, we can save the world by being our authentic selves. And what I mean by that is when we get rid of a lot of the outside influence and, you know, the programming and the societal norms and all that nonsense, when we get rid of all that, we get closer to our authentic selves. And in the process of us doing that, we figure ourselves out, you know, we start to really start doing the things that we want to do in life, start really going for the things that we really want to go for in life and just start moving in the way that just, just really just living life the way that we truly want to live it. Right. And the reason why I think that authenticity is how you save the world is because deep down, I believe that everyone is how do I put this like okay like there's a version of everybody deep down in them and then there's a version that they give to the world that they show to the world you know what I'm saying everybody has those but I think that people most people they always uh it's always like separate but then when people that are authentic they they kind of make this one smaller and make this one bigger if 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 you're following if that makes sense you know what i'm saying like like the the version of you that you truly truly really really want to be like the person that you really are starts to really shine through when you just figure yourself out you know and get rid of all the things that you were taught all of the programming you've been exposed to all of the uh uh i had another term but i lost it it doesn't matter but um it's like as you go through that process and as you become closer to your authentic self, it's like your authenticity is attractive to other people because it's like there's a part of them that they see in you that they maybe forgot about or maybe they neglected or maybe they were told that it wasn't okay or maybe that it was weird or that, you know, anything or maybe they just don't understand it. But there's a part of you, like you being who you are. Um, it's like you give people permission to be themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, just not caring about what other people think or, you know, just saying stuff because you think it's funny, you know, laughing at your own jokes, entertaining yourself, like, just, just being yourself. It's like you unapologetically be yourself and not everybody's going to like it, but a lot of people will. You know, like I'm just myself. Like I literally just left work. I'm sitting in the parking lot outside of my job right now. And it's crazy because that's where most of these videos have been made. <laughs> but um, I'm, I mean, I've been working there longer than all the other employees. But even then, there have employees that have been there for like one to two years, three years. But they don't have as much, uh, they don't have as many connections as I do. I have the most amount of connections at my job because I'm just myself. Like, I'm just me. I truly believe that it's people just, they feel me 
You know what I'm saying? Like I'm 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 just myself. I'm not really trying to do anything. Like I'm I'm in there just flowing all day. It's so easy for me. It's so effortless for me. You know what I'm saying? And I think that again, it's just the authenticity, you know? Like people just like that. People just like a real, relatable, honest uh person. Like they like that. Like there's enough nonsense and there's enough uh lies and bullshit and and making it look like this way but it's really this way like i don't really do all that you know what i'm saying i i come as myself as best as i can you know and but again it's an ongoing thing like i'm not just where i'm at now and that's and that's it it's like no i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna keep uncovering parts of myself i'm gonna keep learning about myself i'm gonna i'm gonna keep i'm i'm, I'm gonna keep going until i die bro like that's that's what self-discovery is it's just you just keep going you just keep going within and and finding new things and just and just exploring new things you know what i'm saying um but i think i think that that's how we how we save the world you know i used to think that it was oh you know once we wake everybody up and once everybody knows about all these agendas and everybody knows about fluoride and everybody knows about you know all this other stuff that is within that which is all valuable stuff but at the same time it's like it's not as powerful as just being yourself and watching the domino effect that that has you know what i'm saying like i remember a few days ago uh me and my lady we were out at uh there's like a little lake or like a pond or whatever i don't remember the difference between a lake or a pond somebody let me know but we were just throwing shit in there and you, we would throw we were throwing like pine cones and one pine cone would make the biggest wave and ripple throughout almost the whole body of water, right? And then I was telling her, I was like, that's that's us. Like that's that's people that's that's a person's influence. It takes one to make a wave. And that's how I look at, you know, enlightened people or woke people or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But anybody that's just on the path of self discovery, I feel like you truly embodying that it's like you can't help but rub off on the people that you're around on a regular basis you don't necessarily got to have full-on conversations i don't do that shit i don't be having conversations with people that don't that's not like like i'm not talking i don't talk about this type of stuff with people that just aren't there yet but in the small little interactions that we do have i'm always dropping something on somebody not because i'm trying to do it it's just that's just the way that i talk you know what I'm saying? And like you'd be surprised how that one little thing can make a wave. So that's pretty much all I got, man. I'm sure somebody I'm sure that message resonated with somebody. And uh just leave me a like. And that's all I got, man. I just got off of work. I just I just I had that on my mind. So I'm like, let me go ahead and get that on camera, put that out there for the people. So uh yeah. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all take it easy, man. Peace.